Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life team at Remax Lead. Today I'm going to talk to you about the June real estate market and how the first half of the year has gone. So if you've noticed, it's obviously summertime and the market's been quite slow. Um, talking to my colleagues and just looking at our listings and the activity that's moving, movement is quite slow. The average days on market actually um, stays pretty consistent. However, the months on inventory is actually up this month compared to last month. So that is indicative of the fact that there's less sales and more listings. So there's a lot of people that have waited a little while to get their house in the market. Maybe they waited um, right before school's finished. And so there's a lot and a lot, and I mean a lot of choice right now. So buyers, you have the pick of the litter, sometimes almost too much to pick from. So you wanna really make sure you sit down and have a really good um, baseline of what you're looking for and your must-haves and things you're willing to compromise on. If you're still looking for a unicorn house, don't worry, they still don't exist. So you just wanna make sure that even through all this inventory, you're able to like filter through everything. So we use apps um, that help you with that process and our professional experience will help you um, find that property. So for listings, the average price in general has all gone down. The, the overall um, average went up a tiny little bit, but yes, it's the market is basically going down because of the fact that there's so much inventory, too much choices, not enough buyers, which means not enough demand for the properties, and so it's softening the market. So there's more houses on the market this year than there was last year. However, the um, it's interesting to note that last month we actually had more listings come on the market than we did in the month of June. So your odds of selling have gone down actually from the last month and actually from last year. Why is that? Why did the, the listings have less listings compared to last month, yet the odds of selling are down? It's because the sales, the number of sales has also gone down from last month. So the popular price point is the ever consistent 300 to 399. That is the bulk of sales again year to date. And if you are buying in that bracket or selling in that bracket, obviously the movement there is quite different than if you're buying a home over 600,000. So I'm just gonna to talk to you quickly about how did the for this quarter do, and really how did the real estate market do compared to last year and the years before? Um, like I mentioned earlier, the inventory level is extremely high. You'll see that this quarter we've had the highest amount of active listings um, than we've ever had in, a, in the last couple of years, and so obviously that is a big factor in how the real estate market is doing. What is gonna happen for quarter three? One can only guess. Um, but my guess is the listings should go down in terms of how many active listings. Now, they may not all sell, they may expire, people may realize they have to rent their property out or stay in their house a little bit longer, um, but obviously some of them will sell as well. So the last time the market had such high inventory was in the 2009 period, and the average price back then was a significantly lower than it is right now. So the market definitely is a challenge. The interest rates obviously are also in a different place also. So we've seen um, quite low interest rates over the years, and then the last six months, we've seen an increase in the interest rates. So if you are considering possibly purchasing, you will want to get a rate hold. You, they can hold a rate for up to 120 days and you have no obligation to buy, but then that way, I'm pretty sure that the interest rates will go up and then that way you'll get that lower rate. So hopefully those, that information helped you um, just look at the month of June and also what the real estate market has been doing uh, this first half of the year. If you have any specific questions, feel free to send me a personal message. Call me at 780-945-7821. Share this video with your friends and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much and have a great day.